I'm Mitch Hugdahl. I'm Anthony Heaton. And I'm Riley O'Connor. The story of the Viet Sauce Altarpiece tonight on Six Minutes. The Altarpiece of Viet Sauce is the largest Gothic altarpiece in the world and a national treasure of Poland. It is located behind the communion table of the St. Mary's Basilica in Krakow, Poland. The altarpiece was carved between 1477 and 1489 by the Bavarian sculptor Viet Stoss, who moved to Krakow where he resided there for the next 20 years of his life. In 1477, Viet Stoss moved from Germany to Krakow to start work on the altarpiece. Since Stoss wanted to build an altarpiece that was large enough to be seen from the back of the church, many innovations were needed to make something of that magnitude possible. The altarpiece is the first known example with rear fixed wings which allowed for such intricate wood carvings to become possible. The altarpiece is broken up into four different sections, the Avzug, the Flugel, the Corpus, and the Sard. The use of pictures to tell stories has a long history in Christianity, and the high altarpiece of the church was central to this purpose. Many altarpiece stories centered on the crucifixion, but Viet Stas' altarpiece takes the story of the Assumption of the Virgin as described in the Gospel of James. The altarpiece contains around 200 figures ranging from fully carved ones in the corpus to the tiny Krakow residents around the frame. When closed, the altarpiece displays 12 panels. These panels describe the life of Christ with depictions ranging from the birth and presentation of the Virgin, the crucifixion, the deposition, and finally, the entombment of Christ. The scenes of the inner flugel and obzug represent the seven joys of Mary. Compared to the outer flugel, the inner flugel's details were deeper and the colors were brighter. These panels highlight the resurrection scene on the right, where Christ rises from his grave in spectacular fashion. Finally, the corpus shows six larger-than-life carved figures with seven partial figures standing behind, arranged as if on stage. These figures are witnessing the death of the Virgin and her assumption into heaven. Never before in a late Gothic carved altarpiece had this subject been treated in such a monumental a manner. Also, the treatment of the subject is unusual. Instead of being assembled at the deathbed, the apostles stand, deeply moved around the youthful virgin as she kneels in prayer. Above them, the gates of heaven stand open with light pouring forth, and the virgin is led through by Christ. After Wiedstas' death in the late 1400s, he became somewhat irrelevant in Germany due to the fact that mostly all of his works remained in Poland. However, in 1933, the Germanic Museum of Nuremberg hosted a Wiedstas art show commemorating the 400th anniversary of the artist's death. Some of his masterpieces resurfaced, sparking a significant increase in appreciation for Stas' art amongst the German people. Many Nazi art collectors were amongst those who had a newfound appreciation for Wiedstas' art. They hated the fact that the greatest piece, the Viet South altarpiece was decorating the walls of a Polish church. The Polish realized that they didn't have much time to hide the piece before Nazi officials showed up looking for it. The fact that they spent an incredible amount of money to restore the piece six years prior only made the altarpiece more valuable. They came to the decision that the best way to hide it was to disassemble it and ship it away. They cut the altarpiece into 32 massive parts and carefully packed them into wooden crates which were hidden in the Polish countryside. During the war, a Nazi unit called the Sonderkommando Paulsen located these crates, took them back to Germany, and hid them in the basement of the Nuremberg Castle. At the castle, Polish prisoners sent messages to members of the Polish resistance telling them that their great altar was hidden there. The altar eventually survived the heavy bombing of Nuremberg and was returned to Poland in 1946. In the next 10 years, the altarpiece underwent extensive restoration and was finally put back into St. Mary's Basilica in 1957. Today, the altarpiece is still the pride of Poland, with thousands of people coming to see the altarpiece each year. Until recently, the altarpiece would remain closed for most of the year, even on Sundays, to preserve its mystery and work within. The wings would have only been opened on specific feast days. But now, after great restoration, the altarpiece is opened every day at noon for tourists.